All right. Uh, so oxidation states for oxygen can vary. Mostly it's negative 2. And that's here, the example case on the bottom. Hydrogen, what's its charge? Yeah, plus 1. So oxygen has to be minus 2 here. So you just go, okay, that's minus 2. This is plus 1 for this hydrogen, so it's going to be neutral. This is, uh, as you'll learn much later in the class, a part ionic, part covalent. Usually, if oxygen is with a metal, it's definitely an uh, ionic bond. Okay? That means there's transfer, so it's electrostatically connected. Up at the top, you would say, oh, well, there's two uh, oxygens. And 2 times oxygen equals overall charge of 0. So that must mean oxygen has a 0 charge. In this case, it's completely covalently bonded. Okay? That means they're sharing electrons, and they're sharing electrons in order to get to a uh, noble gas configuration, which you'll learn about more later. But, and you'll learn this. Both oxygens, are, they're forming a double bond, and that's where the shared electrons come. So that's how they bond. It's actually a pretty strong covalent bond. There's two of them. Uh, and, and that's how it works for that one. It's actually even stronger than this with the hydrogen. Uh, but they're both going to have a zero charge. The only other case for oxygen is one of these things, which is called peroxide. Whenever you have more than one oxygen in a row. And if you do this one, again, hydrogen, remember, is plus one like before. So if that's plus 1, if you set up your equation, 2 times the charge of hydrogen plus 2 times the charge of oxygen equals overall charge of 0. 2 times plus 1 plus 2, and we'll leave this unknown for a second, 2 times oxygen equals 0. Or 2 times oxygen equals minus 2 from this. Oxygen equals minus 1 for a peroxide. Uh, it's just one of the other funky ones for oxygen. Again, normally it's minus two. This is going to be like a part ionic, part covalent bond. Mostly covalent. Should be mostly covalent. Uh, but again, they're sharing electrons. So it can vary just like any other thing. And depending on what kind of covalent or ionic bond it has, it'll have a different oxidation state. Does that kind of make sense? Okay.